Irene's punch may have weakened, but the massive storm still brought plenty of misery to the East Coast Sunday. Ah! Oh, God! From North Carolina to Massachusetts to Maine. Irene ripped down trees and brought rain, flooding, and plenty of problems for emergency crews. We have the trees that don't have wires on them, and the ones that do have wires on them, we mark off, take them off. Irene lost steam as it tracked northward, hitting New York as a tropical storm that flooded parts of Manhattan and pummeled parts of Long Island. <laughs> it's pretty wild. I didn't want to be in it, but it's kind of cool to be here if I've got to be. We didn't have uh, waterfront property before, but we do now. So although for the most part New York experienced minimal damage from this storm, there are definitely pockets where Irene left her mark. Here on the Lower East Side, this building saw eight trees go down around it. Amazingly, though, no damage to the building. And just north of the city, residents were evacuated on inflatable boats. I never, never seen anything like that. But it was falling trees that were causing the biggest headaches. This one coming down onto a house in Brooklyn, many taking power lines along with them. Anticipate heavy rain, uh, potential flooding, and uh, significant power outages uh, throughout uh, the area of the storm, and which means all up and down the eastern seaboard. Tornadoes were also reported. A roof was ripped off this house in Virginia. Well, we were here for Isabel, and I think there was a lot more flooding, but we didn't have the tornado problems. And where the storm had moved out, the aftermath, sunny skies, but lingering damage. Well, we got 70 campers in here, and they all got water in them. Water came in, everything that we put up floated off, and it's gone. Over 4 million homes are without power. Many airports, rail lines, and roads are still out of commission. In New York, Bonnie Ghosh, Associated Press.